recall the first 30 minutes of your day. We have all performed multiple tasks like brushing our teeth or having a delicious snack. Now imagine being unable to use your hands to achieve any of that. That can be the reality of as many as 9 out of French stroke survivors who have some degree of paralysis. These people are our motivation and initial focus. While ultimately having a goal to create a solution for more than 130 million paralyzed patients around the globe, 84% of whom are unemployed. Among them was our uncle. Due to hand paralysis, he was unable to perform simple tasks and his eyes were always filled with hopelessness. When we visited rehabilitation centers, we saw the same look in the eyes of so many individuals. Upon extensive research, we realized that hand paralysis rehabilitation is time-consuming, psychologically strenuous, and expensive, costing upwards of $15,000. How can we help these people? Hello, I am Zen. And I'm Faria. With ExoHeal, we aim to help patients with hand paralysis have a more faster, comfortable, and inexpensive rehabilitation experience. During our search for a solution, we came across neuroplasticity. It is the ability of the brain to change continuously in response to new experiences. Utilizing this concept, we developed a rehabilitation routine. The first stage involves giving confidence and hope to the patient. The second stage consists of psychological training aimed at helping these patients overcome learned non-use. As for the third stage, we decided to create an exoskeletal device. And so, after four years of prototyping, 3D printing and redesigning, we created NeuroExoHeal. An affordable and portable exoskeletal device aimed at providing faster rehabilitation. NeuroExoHeal is divided into a sensory good hand and an exoskeletal paralyzed hand. When a movement is performed by the good hand, the exoskeleton will force the paralyzed hand to mirror the exact same motion. In this instance, neuroplasticity forms new connections between intact neurons and revives the patient's paralyzed hand. While visiting rehabilitation centers, we had noticed that many patients had to travel large distances for the rehabilitation sessions. This was both time consuming and expensive. To tackle this, we have developed an accompanying app that acts as a means of communication between the doctor and the patient. The app will enable the doctor to guide and monitor the progress of various patients. This allows the patient to comfortably use the device at home. Our beneficiaries include patients with hemiplegia, monoplegia, and soon diplegia. In the previous four years, we have conducted extensive tests under the guidance and supervision of doctors and researchers from India and Saudi Arabia. Our initial examination with patients has revealed that neuroexohil can help them recover 30% faster. The product will be sold to hospitals and rehabilitation centers in the beginning via a B2B shared pricing model. These institutions will then offer the device to patients for a monthly fee in accordance with their needs. This monthly fee paid by the user to these institutions will be shared with the company. The central software for managing patients' data and device functionalities will be sold to these institutions for a one-time fee based on customization with an yearly maintenance charge priced at 18% of the original cost. We are currently communicating with a few hospitals in Saudi Arabia who are eagerly awaiting the finalization of the product. After the first six months of its launch, we'll be selling it to at least 10 hospitals in the city of Riyadh. Depending on its success, we'll be moving on to other cities. With the business model in mind, we aim to reach the break-even point by the end of the first year after starting production. The minimum projected revenue is $235,000 being a biomedical product. Currently, there exist three main competitors for exotic. Although these devices provide faster rehabilitation than the traditional methods, they tend to be bulky, have limited range of motion, and are expensive. As a result, lower income families are often left helpless with cumbersome rehabilitation process. Moreover, they provide monotonous exercises in which the patient does not move their hand with intention. The robot does all the work and there is no physical effort being made by the patient. ExoHeal, on the other hand, brings down the cost of rehabilitation devices from over $10,000 to $650. Using ExoHeal, our uncle felt sensations in his paralyzed hand on the very first day, weeks or months faster than he would have with traditional therapy. His eyes glistened that day after so many years. ExoHeal's 3D printed skin like design enables him to practice and perform routine tasks comfortably, all the while undergoing rehabilitation at the same time. The robot automatically adjusts the level of assistance provided based on his progress. This enables him to put in the right amount of effort. Doctors describe this as a fundamental key to recovery. And hence, we use the story of his success to bring hope back to the eyes of many more patients as they regain use of their limbs, return to their daily tasks increase family income and restore self-confidence. We would like, like to say, to say that, the that the only path to recovery, recovery is not out there, but in ourselves. Thank you.